Hi, my name is Bart Kamski and this is Unreal Engine 4 Minutes tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create grid where you can spawn meshes, instance meshes along a language with changeable size of it, changeable distance, but also with randomization of distance, randomization of scale and randomization of rotation. So let's get right into it. Okay, let's delete this one, let's get our first person character and let's just press right mouse button and convert it to static mesh and let's put it in the content browser and just name it car mesh. Okay, and we have it here. So let's create our spawner. It's going to be actor and name it spawner. Here we go. Let's open it and go to construction script. And first let's add instance static mesh component let's go back to content browser select our guy and just put it here uh, now we're going to use for loop node and let's promote its last index to size which is going to be size of our um, grid and let's create another variable distance and this variable going to be float Let's compile it and it's slider range going to be between 50 and 500 with default, let's say 100. And let's get it with control to the, our uh, graph and we have to multiply, multiply it by uh, our index. And let's create distance random already. Let's compile it and make slider range between 0 and 1 with default let's say 0.2 let's compile and we can already duplicate it because we want to have scale random as well and we, if we duplicate it we already have the same slider range which is nice let's make another one with rotation r and d and rotation r and d going to be between 0 and 90 with default let's say 40 degrees okay we already have what we need let's make it public so yeah let's press those eyes here and let's get our distance randomization and we need to multiply it by minus one and let's make float random floating range random floating range here we go and if this is 0 0.2 times minus one it's uh ma the random floating range going to be between minus 0 0.2 and plus 0 0.2 so if we multiply it by not by this by distance if our distance is 100 if this is 0.2 and we multiply it by distance, this value is going to be between minus 20 and 20. So if we add it to our uh, actual distance, this is going to be between 80 and 120. Okay, so this is our rows. So we can copy it and paste it here. And these are our columns. So now we can we can uh, get our return value from uh, static for, uh, from add instance static mesh and let's just add instance here we go okay and we can make transform here we go and let's just make vector here we go and we plug this to x and we plug this to Y. Okay, now we're gonna use our uh, rotation randomization. So we can copy this, uh, these nodes and just replace with control button distance with rotation and just plug it to rotation, but not to rotation, but to Z axis in rotation. And we also need to do it with scale. So let's just again grab this and replace distance with scale and just we need to add one to it because default value is one default scale is one and just plug it here 
And let's check if this works. Does it? Set it up to 5. Yes, even 10 maybe. We have 100 guys here. We can randomize distance. We can randomize uh, distance. We can randomize scale. We can randomize rotation. And if I set it up to 40, it means the number of those guys is the number of you guys. It is the number of my subscribers. I got about 1,600 subscribers, which is very nice. My video card is not ready for that amount of subscribers. But thank you once again. See you next time.